Hey, you, yeah you, what rhymes with artful hack? It's palatful pack. I, I don't know why I did that, but hey, let me know in the comments what you would rhyme with palatful pack. I'm not a poet, I'm an artist. Let's get into unpacking this palatful pack. Thank you so much to palatful pack for sending me this box. I didn't pre-cut it, I will be right back. Okay, but real quick, these little wormy doodles are trying to escape at every hole. Look at them, it's like tentacles on Halloween. All right, let's get into it. It's powerful pack. Let's just go ahead and take some of this stuff out. Look at our, our purple wormies. What? and just like magic, all of our art supplies are gone. So I'm going to take a peek at the list of supplies so I can more accurately talk about them. And look at that, we have an Inktober list on the back. How terrifying. So it looks like our main supply is going to be these alcohol inks, and it looks like it has a rainbow color additive. I don't know what that means, but I'm excited to explore that. We've got cherry red, lemon, aqua green, Caribbean, turquoise, magenta, metallic gold, and rainbow, whatever that means. I'm very curious to find out. So I'm actually really curious as to how these guys look. So really quick, I'm gonna swatch these on. Our Yupo paper pad five by seven. Okay, so I've got this little thing. I can put my inks in there. And let's just start clipping the tips off of these guys so we can, oh gosh, are these gonna make a mess? I'm actually really scared. Okay, oh, ink just went everywhere. <laughs> I don't even know where the tip flew off to, but it is out of this earth, so rip. Okay, wow, I'm terrified. Let's just, uh, of ink on, wah! <laughs> My scissors are going to be a rainbow explosion when I'm done with this. No! <laughs> I honestly just don't know the best way to open these. Was there tips on how to open these? Oh. Okay, stop everybody. Okay, all right, so you should probably read directions. Um, it says to open the bottle, puncture it with like a little, a little fine point thing. It says do not cut the tips off unless a wide tip is desired. Well, I, I, I desired a wide tip. A wide tip was so desired by me. Let's just take an X-Acto blade and just kind of make an opening, shall we? Look at that. Oh, and it erupts. That's fine. You know what? A lot safer than what I was doing before. I'm definitely a big idiot and I can accept, uh, I can accept that. <laughs> These are so alcoholic smelling. I feel like I'm getting drunk off of the fumes. But anyways, let's just go ahead and Put some ink in here and see what's up. Real quick, we are actually going to be using these Princeton Brush Golden Teclon set of four to swatch our colors. And then later to do a finished full piece, we're going to be using this Masterpiece Alcohol Ink Panel 8x10, which is reversible. So it seems like you can work on both sides. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's start swatching our colors and then I'll go through with our shimmering effect and do that one too. I'm not really used to inks, so this is going to be a bit of a new process. It definitely feels... I never know how to describe ink or this sort of sensation. It feels slimy. Is that correct? I don't know. Probably not. It seems really difficult to get like a smooth... Uh, flat of color. This this reminds me of when I painted with my own blood. It's like, is that coagulating? Is that correct? What is happening? My brush just turned into this weird goopy. Yeah, I'm not sure how this works. Um, this is definitely going to be a learning experience. Uh, if you have any ink tips, let me know in the comments. It's fine. We'll figure it out. It's cool. It's great. We're having fun. If you love the smell of straight alcohol in your face the whole time while you create art, I have just the art supply for you. I don't know how to wash my brush, I'm so confused. Okay, so am I an idiot because do you see how it's becoming chunky? I'm trying to wash the brush off with water, but it's becoming 
Just this weird chunky stuff that's hard and impossible to wash off. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong, but there's that. It says to clean up spills of your ink to use an isopropyl alcohol, but it doesn't say to wash your brushes off with isopropyl alcohol, so I'm really not sure what's happening. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add our shimmering agent to each of these colors because I'm really curious as to how that works. And I have to say, just puncturing this with the small hole, it like gets clogged and it's not coming out, so I'm not sure what's happening. This seems to be a very uh, not beginner friendly box, so this is going to be really interesting. I hope you guys enjoy watching me struggle because that's what this is going to be all about today. Okay, with my clumpy brush, let's see how our shimmering inks turn out. It looks very sparkly. I wonder if that's why it kept getting clogged in the nozzle because that nozzle was not cooperating. I don't know what I'm doing. Do I need like straight alcohol to clean my brush? Because honestly, I don't have that. I do have nail polish remover. I will be right back. Okay, okay, so I used nail polish remover and it has cleaned my brush right up. Now, that being said, I'm a strong believer in that these boxes should give you everything that you need, but oh well. And as usual, that is why I absolutely love working with these mystery art supply boxes because I get to experience and show you guys a variety of different art supplies and how not to use them. You guys can learn from my mistakes. Now, I'm actually really curious if I try to do like a gradient because it seems like they're really hard to mix. So let's just see what happens. I'm not even going to wash my brush off between each one and we are seeing the mistake you get. You get dookie brown ink. Look how shiny it is. It's all sparkly. Shiny. Can you, can you even tell what's happening? No, you can't. That's fine. So I'm just going to get another pad of paper here and I'm going to do some tests. I'm just going to take some alcohol, pray for me. Well, this isn't alcohol, this is nail polish remover, which isn't, whoa! It's not just alcohol. There's no alcohol, but whatever, it works. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, so say we have this, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Say we have this big puddle of alcohol, oh jeez. So I'm just going to spread this, what am I, what am I doing? Whatever, it's fine, okay. So what if I just kind of got our ink bottles here? Oh, wow, whoa, whoa, okay. I'm into it. That looks really cool, uh, I'll, I'll say that much. Have some yellow. May have put too much nail polish remover on the page, for sure. It is, it is quite wet, but this looks really cool. You guys know, if you've seen my recent videos, that I'm getting into abstract art. So this is really fun. I'm actually, I'm into this. Ooh, <gasps> magenta with that blue. Oh my gosh, look how bright and colorful that is. Hey Red, you suck. We want that bright and colorful magenta. Look at this, do I need to get in my hair dryer? I'm scared. It is drying pretty quickly. Maybe I'll just sit here and let it, let it do its thing. Let's just watch as the colors do whatever they're doing. So this side is still really wet and it's been drying for a while now, but I put way too much nail polish remover on this, so it was just way too wet. Lesson learned. Overall, I think this is really cool looking, especially these really bright blues and magentas, and it does make me want to work with a more limited color palette, so let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to do the uh, nail polish remover thing again, just because I think that was effective, but I'm not gonna use quite as much, obviously. Whoa! <laughs> it's really hard to control, okay? Let's do turquoise, yellow, and green over here, and then over here we can do blue and magenta, because I really liked the way the blue and magenta interacted on the other piece. Whoa, sometimes it just explodes. Whoa! That's just so crazy looking. It's just so bright and colorful, which is unusual for me to like, but I do really like this. Let's just keep doing rings and see what happens. 
Maybe we can even, wow, that just kind of flew out. Maybe we can use some dookie green in here. I actually don't think I want any blue just because, well, blue might be interesting because it could create a nice little yellow to green with blue in there. And this is a nice subtle blue. It's not as bright as the other blue. It's just really fun to watch the ink spread in itself. It just looks so cool. Wow, yeah, I do think that the blue and magenta is my favorite. It's just so colorful and fun. Okay, so I had a lot of fun with these and they're really colorful and really fun and unpredictable but I've actually been given inspiration from these, so I have a really good idea of what to use our panel for. Let's get into it. All right, so here is the plan. Like I mentioned, I was inspired by the previous arts that I did. So let's just jump right in there instead of doing any sort of sketching or anything because we don't have pencils and I think we're just kind of working loosely and abstractly. I just kind of want to jump in there and just do the thing. So I will show you, well that was interesting. I'm just going to show you guys what I plan on doing. We're just going to jump right into it. So we've got our, oh my gosh, our nail polish remover because that's how this art supply works. You use nail polish remover. You guys who know how to use this art supply are probably just cringing at what I'm doing, but <laughs> Hey, like I said, who wants to do research when you can just explore a new art supply and then look up afterwards and see how regretful your decisions were? It's fun this way. It's fun to be adventurous, right? Yes. Okay, so as you can see, I wanted to put down a lot of the, what is it, nail polish remover to make sure that I got a more flat base. And it is a light color. Okay, so while the edges continue to dry, I'm going to draw the thing now. You know, the thing. The subject of my art. Can you guess? Do you know what I'm doing yet? Have you figured it out? Yeah, I'm, I'm drawing fish. <laughs> so I was really inspired by my previous little test and doodle where the splotches kind of looked like water so then i thought i would do like fish and water those look like fish right i hope okay so now i'm going to create water does that make sense you know like water <laughs> i'm not really sure how to explain it maybe you'll see as i paint or my inking because i'm using ink I don't even know. I think the water is sort of reactivating the fish, so I think I have to work really quickly to avoid that. materials were meant for a more abstract approach with like spraying and dropping and just letting the inks do their thing. But you know me and my literal art. I gotta try to do something that looks like a thing. <laughs> okay, um, there is our water. Uh, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Just whatever. You know? What do you say we put a few lily pads on this one just because I feel like it could use something more? So there we go, just, just jumping right in there. So I'm not really sure if I'm feeling this one. It just seems a little, there it is and kind of boring. Let's flip it over and do the other side. So again, I'm going to pour, oh my God, and we're just gonna do a few drops. Get a nice, as even layer as I can of this light blue. Well, hold on. <laughs> Let's do something regretful, shall we? More nail polish remover, oh my god. <laughs> the 
this is pretty good, right? I'm gonna say this is as smooth as I'm probably gonna get it. All right, so now I want to go in with our Caribbean and I'm going to do my best to make this. Yeah, this is definitely an abstract version of that, but that's okay. I think it's fun. It's gonna be fun. Don't worry about it. I'm going to add a couple more drops of blue here and there just to darken a few areas because I think there is a little, it, the, the tones are, are very, it's very medium heavy. <laughs> so I do want some darker areas here and there. Okay, so we have our more abstract water situation here. I do like this a lot more. It's a lot more fun, but I guess the question is how do I add something that keeps it abstract, but kind of gives it a subject if that makes any sense. So I think I'm gonna start off just trying to do seaweed or something that I can kind of make abstract. So I can put down some nail polish remover, so professional. And then I'll just plop some color on top of it and kind of still get that marbly tie-dye look to it. I kind of ditched the marble thing and just drew it with green, whoops. Okay, so we have some seaweed. Now, now what? I'm not really sure. Okay, what if I just threw some color down and see what it did? Oh, wait, what if I, oh! <gasps> I mean, that's ridiculous, but it's kind of cool. I didn't really mean to do that, but we're doing it. <laughs> Maybe I can actually come in <laughs> like a pen and make these blobs into fish, I suppose. Hopefully they're not too dark. I like that idea. I think that could be fun. Let me just throw more ink on the canvas. Okay, that that looks okay, yeah? Sometimes you just have to do things and not know what you're doing. You, you know how it is. All right, so I'm just going to take this Micron pen and add some faces and little details to this. <laughs> Look at him, he has, he's just like a body. Maybe he's got like a fin on his head or something. He's pretty goofy. All right, so this is also a weird one. I think I might like this one more than the other one just because the other one, I don't know, it was whatever. So here it is, here is our blobby fish, uh, wh whatever this was. And on the other side, we have our pond fish. And oh my goodness, looks like we had a little leak. Uh-oh, <laughs> whoopsies. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, thank you so much to Paletteful for sending me this box. If you want to have your own monthly Paletteful box, check out the link in the description, get your own box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay golden. And now a huge thank you to my wonderful patrons for all of their support. You guys are the best. If you want to be in the credits at the end of my videos, see secret sketches, coloring pages, early access, and more, check out my Patreon by clicking a link in the description. Thank you guys all so much for the support. Bye. <laughs>